I've done is I've made, started these off um, and they've just had one coat of paint and then they've dried so I just was wanting to experiment. What I've got is a skewer for a barbecue and I've got a bead, just a plain simple bead. I'm going to thread the bead onto the skewer and push it on really, really tightly. And it doesn't come off. There you go. Then I'm going to take my knife and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off this piece of wood at the end. It takes a while, just keep pushing at it. There you go. And what you want is it to be flat. You don't want any sticking out bits there at all. If you do find out you've got a sticking out bit, you can take an emery board and just file it away until it's gone right the way through. And then here, on the end of the stick, I'm just going to cut with using my scissors all the way around. It takes a while. You can use a little saw if you've got a little saw handy. And then once I've got that started, I'm just going to go across with my knife. gone through it. There we go. And then take an emery board and file that down until there's no little bits on it at all. Just for quickness I shall do that later. Um, and then what I've done in here is I've got some red acrylic paint. You can see that one there. And I've got a clear glue. Just an ordinary clear glue and I've put about half and half into the container. Okay, Mix them together and then I'm just going to dip my, my um, toffee apple into it. So I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to make sure it gets all covered all the way around. And then once that's done, I'm just going to bring it out, let some of that excess drip off. pop it onto a clear piece of plastic. This is just a piece of plastic or for a, um, a box of like, um, you know, you get the pieces of plastic which go around the inside of a box. You can use any type of plastic. You can even use a polythene bag if you want to. And then I'm just going to pick up my other ones which have um, dried overnight and I'm going to dip those in again and get a nice cover on them so that they've got two coats. I think they need two coats because I think you can see through a little bit of what they were. Shake off the excess. And then put them back onto your plastic. So here is my little toffee apple. So it's had two coats of paint on it and now I'm just going to pop a coat of varnish on it. There we are. So now I'm just going to put a coat of varnish on it. Um, this is water-based varnish um, so that just can be washed off when you've washed your brush off, okay? So just put your coat it over with some varnish that's that all over there. You can varnish a stick as well if you want to, but you don't have to. It's just quite difficult to hold it and varnish it at the same time. There you go. So that's just a little stick done now. If you get it to dry, what you can do is either put it into a little tub, and I've got my ramekin dish, which I, as you know I love. I'm just going to put it in there and let that varnish dry. Okay. So remember to wash your paintbrush off when you've finished. Hope you enjoy it.